Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at the Stehen Series iPad 2 SGP leather case from Cretouch.com. Cretouch was kind enough to send this along for review, and I did an unboxing and overview some time ago, but we've had some time to use it and provide some feedback on it. Now this is a little bit of a premium pricey case at $84.99, and currently they're out of them on their website. So they're out of stock completely on their site. Uh, for this case in particular. So that's pretty impressive that a lot of people must like this case if they're out of stock. So it is a little bit pricey, like I said, but it is a really nice case. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll open it up. Now I put it back in the box just for uh, review reasons, but I have used it. So you can see how it's packaged and how it comes nicely in the package. So let's go ahead and open this up. Take the piece of styrofoam out. It has some silica gel to keep it from getting moist and then it has some instructions in it so let's slide everything out of the way and it just shows you how you can have a couple settings as far as the tilt of the iPad when you're using it so let's go ahead and put the iPad into place here and as you can see there's a nice little stamp design here let's go ahead and pop it in here if we can there we go and I placed it in upside down. Well, it fits either way. Let's go ahead and pop this back out and do it the right way here. There we go. All right, there we go. So now it's in place. Let's go ahead and close it. Now this is supposed to have the magnetic clasp on it as well. And this clasp uh, opens it up and it comes on, shuts it just like the original one that Apple makes here. So what we have here is a nice premium leather, soft leather feel. It's really very soft uh, compared to most leathers you see on iPad cases. Uh, it has a really nice feel to it. You have this little bit of a bump here where the leather comes out and around for the front of the case and you have a crease in the case for the stand. On the top it leaves everything exposed so we have our sleep wake button, power on button, and our microphone and our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On this side we have access to our anti-rotate switch and volume rocker. We also have access to the docking port on the bottom and it leaves the speaker revealed as well but it puts a little mesh over the top of it and that might be nice if something bumps into it that sort of thing. You, you can see on the back we have two little slots for the front to fold into to provide two different heights for viewing or typing. So let's go ahead and open this up and swing this around here. And if we place this into the first one, do that, place this into the first one, we should be able to, which is a little bit tricky, should be able to hold it up good for viewing. So you can see this is fairly vertical, so we can view this almost straight on. And then we have a second setting we can put it in here that slants it a little bit more and provides a different viewing angle or we can switch it like this and type on it in this mode. So we have a couple different settings here or or levels to adjust this to that allow us to use it however we need, we need to for that time. The top does feel a little bit flimsy but if you're going to be holding this or holding it as a folio, it's it's kind of fine as far as that goes. Where I'd be more concerned is this little bump on the back or anything pushing into it. It doesn't sit flat because of it, and it's not a horrible thing. It's just not sitting flat, so it's a little bit uh, different than most cases you might see. But the leather does feel very soft, like I said, like more like a, a leather jacket feel than opposed to some hard leather cases that you may see elsewhere. Uh, on the back, you have these nice these nice uh, clasps. It'll be interesting to see how they hold up maybe over a year or so, but they seem to be holding up just fine uh, for the time being. It is a little bit tricky to swing this around and place this in place, but it's just a case and you really don't want it to do anything more than pr protect your uh, iPad and keep it from being scratched when closed and then provide you a stand when typing on. And for those things, it seems to do a great job. Like I said before, it is a little bit on the pricey side, but it's well worth taking a look at at least and seeing how good of a product it is. It's an SGP case, so it's the Sten, uh, Stehen series, I think is how you pronounce it, or Sten series. And it's for the iPad 2. They offer a lot of different cases on their site at Cretouch.com. I'll provide the address below so you can check it out. But it's Cretouch.com. 
$85 or so. Like I said, they're currently out of stock of the black one. There are other colors available as well. So check out that case as well as the others they have. They have some pretty nice cases they provided. And uh, thanks to them for sending this along. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.